Hello friends and welcome to Red Dead Online. I am Peachy Llama here on YouTube and today we're going to do a ride around my favorite game before Animal Crossing. This is the online game based off of Red Dead Redemption 2 and I've been playing this game for about two years and today I'm going to take you around the beautiful world that this game takes place in and show you some areas of inspiration I have for Amberino and Animal Crossing, as well as just exploring the game a little bit. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments below. If, you're, if you'd like to see more from Red Dead Online as we go, let me know. I, again, I've, I love this game, even though it hasn't been updated as much lately, but definitely let me know what you think, and I'm excited to get started today. It is morning here in Big Valley. We have picked a beautiful campsite for today. Imagine if our campsites in Animal Crossing were this beautiful. <laughs> Very excited that this is the first one you guys get to experience because it's probably the prettiest area in the game, at least one of them for sure. My horse out there, his name is London, but honestly he reminds me of Roscoe in Animal Crossing, so I might call him over here so you guys can meet him. He is such a good boy. I love him so much. Say hello to London, everybody. He is my newest addition. I have 10 horses. They only have 10 slots in the game for horses and I have all 10 filled and I keep changing them out all the time. Um, and he's my latest one because I've always just wanted a solid black horse and I didn't even think about it being similar to Roscoe until recently, um, which is which still cracks me up because I just, I never thought about it. Um, but he is my favorite right now because he is just so pretty and I love tall horses. So maybe it's because I'm tall in real life. I don't know, but I just love the tall horses. So he is a quadruper in the game. There's um, different roles that your character can be a part of. And there's sometimes horses that are in like attached to those roles that are supposedly going to help you do better in those roles. Um, the quadruper was connected with the trader role. It's where you're hunting animals and getting goods to sell in your business with your, um, campsite keeper Crips who set up this camp for us today in this beautiful beautiful area so I think that's half the reason he's a stockier and larger horse because they're they're supposed to be able to handle you know the bigger scarier animals in the game and be all right with it I don't know how London really is with that because uh, he bucked me off when there was a mountain lion nearby the other day but I mean who wouldn't <laughs> who wouldn't do that if we saw one so this is Crips for those of you who don't know um, he is basically your campsite manager while you are roaming the free roam land um, over here this is Coda my camp dog he is a good boy oh my god look at look at him look at him he is a red husky. Um, I adore him. So we are currently in an area called Big Valley, uh, surrounded by mountains and lavender. Like talk about all us animal crossers that love to make lavender fields with the hyacinths. This is all the lavender we could ask for. So it's a beautiful area to set up camp and I'm really excited that Crips was able to set up camp for us here for today so you guys could see it. So I wanna make our way down um, in the map. So we are here in what is called Big Valley in West Elizabeth. And then over here, San Denis is the city of the world, basically. Um, it's what I've based the beginning part of Amberino on. So when you walk into the island in Animal Crossing, it's I'm trying to give off the vibe of San Denis. And then that would take us to the desert, which is over here in New Austin. I would say the town I want to make in Amberino is going to be similar to the town called Tumbleweed. So we'll be visiting that that area today so you guys can see what what my ideas are and where, where they been coming from this whole time so let's just go exploring wow it's raining as we get back here let's see do I have anything that's like that's kind of good for the rain it has a coat it's better than the dress we'll start with that for now 
So we are going to start making our way to Saint Denis. I'm almost kind of trying to give myself um, a little bit of a challenge today. I'm going to try to get there without the map. I've played this game for two years, so I hope I can figure it out. <laughs> the directions myself just by looking. So hopefully this rain will clear up soon so you guys can really experience more of the game. But the weather in this game is, is beautiful. It's very dynamic, just... The detail in everything is gorgeous, especially for being an open world. You can go pretty much anywhere. Um, and that's something I think that really drew me to this game is that you really have free reign to do whatever you want. I think for now I'm just kind of a trail ride with you guys so you guys can kind of get a nice visual of the game because it is just gorgeous. And I think that like half the reason I play this game still is because the horses and the cosmetics and how beautiful the area is. So in the, during the pandemic when I wasn't able to really go anywhere, it was kind of nice to just have this be a game to escape to. I'm going to see if I'm going to be able to potentially do and make like make another PlayStation account and see if I'll be able to maybe make another character in this game for Red Dead Online. I'm gonna see if that's possible because I think it might be really neat to do a let's play just starting over from the beginning. Plus I think it might renew my interest in the game. Because again right now I have everything. Like I've I've got all the clothes I could want. I've got all the horses I could well, I I can never be not wanting more horses but I've got all my horse dolls filled. I don't really have anything I'm working toward so that's again it's just currently unfortunately the way the game is for veteran players so i am thinking about restarting so if you guys would be interested in seeing like a an actual let's play of this game from the beginning so that if you guys are starting to get into it yourselves we can play together in that sense i think that might be pretty fun so since we have finished the rain um i'm gonna wear just my red dress so this is like my closest thing to my outfit in amberino i like to say so it's just me and roscoe <laughs> hanging out basically uh that's just little little connections to animal crossing but let's go ahead and start picking it up i adore just walking again just riding in these areas like you can't beat these views, honestly. They're just so gorgeous. And I haven't actually done this before where I've turned off the map and just ridden around. So I'm, I guess like as I'm trying to entertain you guys, I'm actually trying to entertain myself because I have never really gotten to do this sort of experiment before to really challenge myself. So now we are getting out of Big Valley and heading down to the river. Ah, uh, just these visuals, guys. It is stunning. I hope this is just enjoyable for you guys. It's just as if we're going on a trail ride together because I, I love looking around at everything. Look at this view. This is stunning. Well, we're already getting to nighttime. We really need to move on to uh, Valentine's so we can have a place to stay. We've been riding for like 12 hours, man. London. <laughs> London. This way. 
fun <laughs> Alright, if you want to be there, that's fine. That's your decision. Okay, London. Alright. <laughs> Let's brush you off, darling. Oh my goodness. You silly boy. And we're gonna stay at the Saints Hotel for the evening. I'm gonna take a room on the top floor, okay? <laughs> All right, then I guess we will uh, see you guys in a little bit. So I decided since I don't really want to sit through the night, I'm going to show you guys the horses that I have because I know a lot of you said you liked the horses in the game just like me. Um, so here are my 10 horses. I try to base them off like the names off locations. Um, so this is Nova Scotia and there's Durango. He's a Mustang. And then there's Alaska. She is a gypsy cob horse that came with the naturalist role. She's gorgeous. This is Sedona. This is so technically Sedona 2.0. I had another horse named Sedona, but her stats were really low. And this horse looked like Spirit. And I wanted to name originally I wanted to name it Navajo, but then I decided to just do Navajo Spirit because uh he looks like spirit. That's the, the spirit, the Stein of Cimarron uh, movie I used to watch growing up. This is Jasper, my original all black horse. Have some cute little white stockings. Um, this is Arizona, very beautiful, very sweet. And of course there's London, as we all know and love. And there's Oregon, love Oregon as well. Beautiful, beautiful horse. And then Sequoia. Sequoia is one of my favorites. Um, I love just her, the Palomino look, um, but she's just got a beautiful coat. All right, it's morning. We're gonna finish off with London, I think, and then we may pick up Sequoia in Saint Denis. There's a player in town. You can see the guy in the white up ahead. So this is Saint Denis, or, uh, sorry, this is Valentine. Um, the kind of look I was kind of going for with the Western town eventually, um, there's a friend. Let's wave hello. Nice dude. All right, guys, let's head on to Saint Denis. We're just taking some looks around at Valentine. I just love the Old West feel here, and like it's the one of those like, um, spaghetti western vibes i think of like the dun, dun, dun standoff you know you could have like two people on either end of this town there's also that i think in armadillo in the desert we can look at i think we can get to a gallop today <laughs> to start getting somewhere i do think we spent a whole in-game day to just get to valentine and i think it might take two to get to Saint Denis if we go at this pace, so I might do some galloping. And if we run to a train, maybe we'll ride the train for fun. already starting to get to Le Moyne. Usually if there's a fire like that, something's going on. So I need my map, sorry. Enemies, huh? What's this for? Did I just run into something interesting? Is this for another player? Like What is going on? Is this some other player's situation? This must be something for another player. I almost don't want to bother in case it's for some other player. I don't want to ruin their game. I don't know if it's like a random encounter, a new one in the game, or if this is like something a player has set up. I don't know, man. I'm just going to ride on by. Unless they start shooting me. Oh, they're gonna start shooting me. All right, then we'll take them on. Oh, there, there was an opportunity. Whoops, sorry, I didn't know. 
wait. I have the wrong gun on me. My goodness, can I please not die? All right, so this was a rescue mission. Well, I'm dumb. <laughs> I was like, I thought it was a setup for another player. Maybe it's because I can't hear the game right now. Is he tied up? Are you tied up, sir? Oh no, I'm sorry. I didn't know that. I apologize. Where are you headed? Where are you headed? Yeah, sure. I'll take you to Rose. Let's go. Come on, buddy. All right, Lyndon, let's get on the roads. We might have some um, enemies possibly come up to. Wow, if I noticed him earlier, I would have I would have interacted with them sooner. I didn't even realize there was an opportunity. I think this is why I need the map on, so I can at least see when there. So opportunities that happen in the game that just kind of pop up are white dots on the map, and because I didn't have the map on, I didn't know what it was, and we just walked into it, so it was already red enemies. So because of that, I thought it was someone else, like another activity a player was doing that they hadn't just gotten to yet. And have some enemies to worry about. And that's fine. Alright, alright. We got a player coming through. Hopefully they don't bother us. What is that person running for? The NPC is running away like crazy. Are they just scared? <laughs> Probably. Alright. Let's get on up into the sheriff's office. Well, this was entertaining. <laughs> All right, my dude, here you are. I need to change guns for one. My varmint rifle was attached versus my shotgun, which was not helpful at the time. All right, let's pop over here before we go to San Denis to see. Oh, by the way, by the way, by the way, while we're here in Rhodes, this is actually what the yellow inspiration I had for the train station in Amberino was the Rhodes train station. I wanted to combine elements of the San Denis station with the Rhodes one, so that's why I went with the yellow. There's a lot of activities going on today. See the white dot? That's what I mean. That's what I mean. Oh, there's someone that's a captive. <gasps> All right, how are we gonna do this smartly and efficiently? Was he? They haven't even noticed me yet. Where is he? This dude. Thank you. You're free to go. Sorry they captured you. Do you need a ride? Are you good? Oh, that ten dollars. Okay. Can I loot this man, please? Scoot. Thank you. Is the train not moving? It is. All right. Well, let's beat it. Come on, we can we can get ahead of it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Good job, London. I know it's scary. You got this. You got this. Yeah, this is fun. <laughs> Dumb probably, but it's fun. It's fine. We're good. It's here. All right. I'm gonna leave you here, buddy, because I don't want you to get hurt. All 
Wait, where is, I did, oh, I did it, I did do it, okay. They haven't seen me, they did, no, they did. <laughs> I have to kill them all, boo. Actually, no, London. Let's go, London. We'll get him. on to San Denis, buddy. So, as you can see up ahead, there's a lot of factory work, and that's kind of what I explained in my last Animal Crossing video, that I wanted to include some factory area, because that's such a big part of San Denis, at least by the water. And so the reason I have my entryway have that little extended dock was just to kind of emulate this sort of vibe here a little bit and then I do think it'd be cool again to have a little bit of the factory I think we can build some really cool things in Animal Crossing I've seen people do a lot of industry builds so I think we should maybe try to do one so I went definitely went with the darker exterior with the paneling to go more towards a little bit of sand -y. and I was thinking of maybe having um, putting a nuptial bell at the top potentially to give it that vibe at the top so we'll see if I'll be able to fix that or change that with the uh, station but when it came to the the rock I used outside the station this is kind of what I was thinking and then just had the railway I don't think I've ridden the trolley before <laughs> Come on, London. Good boy. He's so cute. He's getting trapped by other people. This is cool, man. Can I sit? I can sit. Sit. I didn't know I could sit with everybody. I look horrible. <laughs> this is so cool. I had no idea. Well, that was fun. <laughs> okay, so this uh, these are the kind of buildings I want to look at creating. I definitely want to have something like a little tunnel area like this. Might be nice. Maybe next to the canal. Isn't that gorgeous? Right now we're actually in more of the neighborhood vibe I was thinking, so I was thinking of having like the big, maybe may, find a way to make a gazebo sort of thing, but, but yeah, just have one at like having some of the resident houses and then putting fences and mazes around it of hedges. Let's get into the canyon. officially entering into the desert area new the state of new austin and red dead online we are finally here so this is what i mean by the classic showdown um look is this this <laughs> this desert um, alleyway, this roadway, this is the classic wah, 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 showdown speedy western vibe. Ooh, we've got 
got something going on. Okay. Something to do. <laughs> Alright, Sequoia. Alright. Alright. This is a pretty nice spot. Damn, they're getting pretty good from up here. Damn. We did it. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Sequoia, hang out here. Stay safe, my girl. Ooh, it's poachers. Ooh, okay. I'd rather just try to free the animals already. Let's see. See, if it's a dangerous animal, then we can- then it'll kill half the- people here. Good one. Wolf will get him. Ready for the wolf to get him. Why isn't that wolf attacking them? Dang it. <laughs> like, that was the whole point of me releasing the wolf. Like, legit. I was like, oh, we'll just release the wolf and be good. The wolf will help, and the wolf is not helping at all. Okay, we're getting shot at now. Who's got a clear shot on me? Oh. I need to get down, please. not release this animal yet jeez get out of here buddy this dude can take a lot yeah that's what I'm talking about Wolfie that's what I'm talking about that's what I'm talking about all right you are still here huh are they, are they bringing in reinforcements or something? No one's coming over here though. But they're not an enemy. Where's the enemy? There they are. Okay. Let's go. Alright. Can I be done now? Thank you. Alright, so the saloon and tumbleweed I really like. I don't know if we'll do the exact thing, but I like the the deck on it. Not that we have that option in Animal Crossing, but you never know. Probably figure something out. It's a lot smaller of a town, but it's more put together than the last town was. So yeah. These are some inspos for the island of Amberino. Alright y'all, and this is the actual Amberino. We are not doing this winter world uh, in Animal Crossing, but I think it might be interesting to see what the desert areas on the island look like during the winter months in Animal Crossing, because maybe it'll resemble this a little bit. But yeah, this is the actual, honestly gorgeous area of the state of Amberino. This is the, the town of Coulter that's kind of abandoned. Sometimes it has a hideout of a gang in here that you can take out if you want. This is the beautiful snowy mountains of the state of Amberino in Red Dead Online.
Well, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little snippet into Red Dead Online, and I hope you got some understanding of kind of the inspo I have going for the island of Ambrino and Animal Crossing. And um, yeah, I just hope you enjoyed this. And if you did and you want to see maybe me try to find a way to play the game from the beginning and so that you guys can experience it in that way, and I think that might be actually a lot of fun, uh, let me know and I will try to figure out a way to do that. I think it might be possible. So it, it rejuvenate the uh, opportunity for me to play myself uh, again because I've kind of maxed everything out. So I'm kind of bored now. So it could be a fun way um, to experience the game again. So let me know if you're interested in that. Otherwise, I do have Sims content coming when the new Cottage Living expansion pack comes out this week. So um, keep an eye out for that. And we will also have more Animal Crossing content as always coming your way soon. All right. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I love you all so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.